Matt Reeves' The Batman came out earlier this year, and it has been all the rage. Every DC fan was over the moon to see the film picking up on more noir aspects from the comics. We all loved the movie and can't get enough of it. Lucky for you, we've got so much more coming our way. From spin-off series to a sequel, we can't wait. Today, we'll tell you about Matt landing his sequel deal with Warner Bros. and all that's been happening. First up, Warner Bros. is going all in with this director. Warner Bros. is wasting no time with this man and his production company. He's the first filmmaker to be given a first look film deal after Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi joined the company as co-chairs slash CEOs. There's more. He's also re-upped with the studio's television group and its chairman, and he's currently starting to work on the Batman spin-off series, The Penguin. Like, let's be honest here, we all all know just how invested Matt is in the Batman universe. That's no secret. A sequel, an animated series, and two spin-offs in consideration, it makes all the sense in the world that he's calling Warner Bros. home with the multi-year first look. Not just that, but we can also see why the CEOs like him so much. Abdi and DeLuca want Reeves to do what Todd Phillips did for them with Joker and The Hangover, and what Clint Eastwood has been doing forever. Matt is the newest entry in that club, and we feel he'll settle in very easily. Speaking about his connection to the studio, the director revealed that it was a dream to call it home. He also told everyone he's super stoked to work with Mike, Pam, and Channing. Matt also said he can't wait to bring more captivating stories to the big and the small screens. Same here, Reeves. Same here. Coming up, what are the terms of this deal? So what does this deal entail? What does it mean for future films? And how is it affecting fans? We're sure your minds are buzzing with all kinds of questions right now. Well, don't worry, because we've got all your answers right here. Let's see what the deal carries. Under the terms of the film deal, a bunch of Warner Bros. Picture Group's production divisions will have first look rights to Matt's work as a writer, director, or producer, or who knows, all three. These divisions obviously include Warner Bros. Pictures, but it's got other names like New Line Cinema, Warner Animation Group, and DC-based films. As part of the new deal, the director is also looking for a new senior level executive right now. Why? He needs someone to run the new film deal for 6th and Idaho. We hope that the search is going well. As for Dylan Clark, Matt's production partner on the Planet of the Apes trilogy and the Batman, he's still back for the sequel. But at the same time, Clark will run his own production label, independent of Reeves. Oh, and as for where Matt's gonna work, it turns out he won't be taking an office space on the Warner Bros. lot. Instead, the director plans on staying in 6th and Idaho's current headquarters. We thought he'd be excited to have the former, but we're sure he has his reasons for staying. Next, new Batman projects are on the way, and we have all hands on deck. This deal comes at a fresh point for the new Batman universe, where production has started for the Penguins spin-off series. Colin Farrell is ready to reprise his role as Oswald Cobblepot for the new HBO Max show. The spin-off is expected to start filming in early 2023. Colin told ET that Matt won't be directing this one, but the vision for the whole story is still coming from him. We can't wait to see what he does with this. There's more work around the corner too. We've got the Arkham series in talks. Although, full disclosure, there's no confirmation as to whether we'll actually see that on our screens. Fingers crossed though. At the same time, Daniel Pipsky will continue to run the sixth and Idaho TV business. Longtime executive Rafi Krohn will also continue to supervise both film and TV. Speaking of this, Warner Bros. TV Group chairman Channing Dungy had excellent things to say about the director. He called him one of the most imaginative and creative minds in the business and said he's really looking forward to working with the team at Matt's production company. Channing also discussed the upcoming spinoff, saying he's really excited for Matt to expand the world he created. Let's take a look at how this deal is a big win for the studio. We think that signing Reeves is a really good move for the studio, especially seeing how it got off to a rather provocative start with Scoob and Batgirl. Canceling those finished movies turned out to be super messy. We didn't like that, and we're sure no one else did. Batgirl was stopped because it didn't bring that theatrical fare to an eventual streaming release that the studio's new strategy had in mind. It was a TV film, and the new plan isn't all for it, so 
it was stopped. It was shelved as a tax write-down. Reeves is also a victim to the new cost-cutting measure. This Monday, we received the news that his animated series, Batman Caped Crusader, won't make its way to HBO Max. The series is still deep into production, and it'll likely find a new home. Still, naturally, we were afraid that the director's other projects might get pulled too. Most importantly, the Batman's sequel. Thankfully, that's not happening, as the deal gave us the final confirmation we needed. That said, this new re-upping came at a very tumultuous time for the studio, when it's going through a bloodbath. Signing this director is a good move, because it will restore fans' confidence in the studio after all that's happened recently. The Batman generated a lot of hype and applause. Any deal involving it will be loved by everyone. So we can also see why the studio's investing in it so much. This franchise fits exactly their new strategy of theater hype and then streaming. A box office of $770.8 million is no joke, and it's a number the studio hasn't seen in a long time. You can hear it from one of the CEOs himself. DeLuca says that having Matt and allowing him to work on more Batman projects and his new originals is very important for them, and we can tell why. Moving on, DeLuca and Abdi say this deal shows a new direction for Warner Bros. Warner Bros. wants to return to the image it had in the days of its prime. The studio wants to go back to being the filmmaker-friendly lot that it once was, and we can see how the new CEOs are working to make it happen. Speaking to Deadline, DeLuca said that this deal would represent a cornerstone for what they want to do with all filmmakers at the studio. They want to create a filmmaker-friendly environment that helps these creative minds excel in their work and continue to be part of the Warner family. He continued talking about the tradition of Warner's being home for filmmakers, and there are great examples of this in front of us. We can never forget Clint Eastwood and his work with the studio. Well, it seems like now they want to continue that tradition, especially with their successful projects like The Batman. It's definitely a great business strategy for them, but it's also a crucial step towards making the studio a more exciting place for writers and directors to work. We really hope this goes well. Plus, the CEO had nothing but excellent words for Reeves, saying that they're ready to support him in whatever he wants to do, whether it's The Batman or some other project. Matt Reeves is a full investment, no questions asked. That's a great deal of confidence here, and we're glad they can trust his vision. DeLuca said the director is in a class by himself, which is a huge compliment, and we agree 100%. We really look forward to seeing what else Matt does with this deal. We know you're all super excited to see more stellar projects, but first, we obviously want to see the sequel. Let's dig up on what we know about it so far. Finally, let's see what the sequel has in store for us. Did you really think we were going to end this video with just news about the deal? Come on, guys. We know you've been dying to get your hands on anything you can about the Batman's second part. We're not going to let you go without anything. Have some faith in us. As far as we know, Matt is working on the sequel as we speak, which is currently in pre-production. He's busy writing the second installment story alongside Mattson Tomlin, and we're sure it'll be amazing. Robert Pattinson will reprise his role as the Batman. For the story, we're guessing we'll see a bit of the freeze in the upcoming film. Reeves likes this villain's story, and he has said it could be very powerful, so he'll likely want to use it. But before you guys get too excited, stop. The film might take about five years to produce, so it'll be a very long wait. We just hope that it's worth it. That's a wrap on this video. Do you think this deal is a good move for the studio? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.